Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Drew. This is Just a Guy Linux on YouTube and this is going to be our third video on Qtile. Uh, this one will be primarily uh, on the configuration file and how I would uh, modify the configuration for me. So if it helps you, then great. Just a couple um, things to disclose. I changed the uh, GTK theme um, and I also changed the icon theme. And for whatever reason, I ins did not install a few things. Now, Tilex is obviously is kind of an afterthought, you know, whether you want, because we had installed XFCE4 terminal. And as far as Tilex is concerned, I kind of like it these days, especially when I can, you know, do stuff like, you know, this, you know. Um, but I installed it and I'm using it and I didn't install SXHKD, Rofi or Dunst. And I'm kind of surprised at myself for uh, like omitting those from the original installation. And I installed Galculator and I'll show you why uh, it will become apparent at some, uh, at some point on this video. Let's go to a new workspace, let's call it two. And I'm going to open up Thunar, okay? And we're gonna go into the dot config Qtile directory. And there are gonna be some things, some changes. The, the uh, config.py, which is the one that's currently being used, is basically the default configuration file, except let me just go ahead and open it up, except for that, how we ended last video, which when we put this section in, okay? This section uh, allowed us to put in an auto start. So let's look at the auto start. And it changed around a little bit. Uh, I did, this was commented before I wanted to see, and I'm, I, I knew it was going to work. I just didn't think about uh, having it work on last video. But basically, this um, network manager applet is being shown in the actual default bar. So you can see um, right there. Um, we've got Fay for our wallpaper. We've got PyCom, which um, we'll talk about. We, which we talked about last um, last time around. And now we've got SXHKD, which we didn't install last time and maybe we should have, but now we're going to really use it, okay? And we put the uh, SXHKD RC file uh, in a directory in the Qtile directory. So um, now not all of this is gonna work well until we start changing the actual configuration file because there might be some overlap with key bindings. So let's get to it. I'm gonna open up this JAGL also in Genie. And let's actually move this um, Thunar out of the way. I'm gonna send it over to three. And I want to uh, split window side by side. And this is JAGL over here, and this is gonna be the config over here. Okay, so on your left is the current configuration, which is being shown in the bar right here. And then this is what I intend to do over on the, on the right, okay? So um, we're gonna add color. Now, now, again, I actually commented out this terminal. We're just gonna to go top bot to bottom, I guess here, okay? We're still using the auto start. And I commented out the terminal in case, I, in that way I want to use um, the SXHKD to open up a terminal. So I don't need it to guess the terminal. It just, it's, I just kind of commented out basically. Now, as far as colors are concerned, I am not good with this. And if I will tell you all day that you should look at somebody who does ricing more like, uh, like Matt does from the Linux cast, he's a lot better at this than I will ever be. And because I don't want to, honestly, I just want it to work well. Um, 
but I have this color scheme and I called it underscore JAGL. Now he, he does it in a completely different way that's a lot more, a lot better, and it's the fact, okay? And um, I had also included a groove box. So I just set the color schema as underscore JAGL. So if you want, you can change this to groove box if you want. I only put two in, okay? I only put two in. The biggest change for me that took the most time are the keys and setting up uh, key bindings, and which it should basically, right? So all of that you see here, this is default. Straight out of the box, this is what Qtile recommends you do. Um, you know, in terms of like, closing windows and everything. Now, I really, really took a lot from uh, Eric Dubois at Arco Linux. He, I thought he made the most sane choices when it came to like uh, modifying and basically documenting his um, key bindings. Fantastic. And so basically I copied a lot of what he did, honestly. Um, and I'm gonna give credit, like I said, I've always tried to give credit to where it is due. When you are looking at this, um, I did go ahead and, I don't remember if he did this or not, honestly. Uh, so I did comment out this mod R. So like right now mod R works. But if I'm going to, I, I wouldn't use it unless I had to, you know, because if I, I'm going to hit super space, um, I'm going to use Rofi. If, if given the opportunity, I'm going to use Rofi. So when I hit super space now, Rofi comes up. That's the way I want it. Okay. So as far as change, so none of this is active, right? You know, this, this JAGL.py. None of this is active until we change the name and then restart Qtile. But I do want to, you know, like I said, go over this. So we're going to move, you know, we've got moving, we've got um, both directional keys and Vim keys to uh, either change focus or to move things right or left. Um, I do want to get down to, because we'll demonstrate this in a, in a few minutes. I do want to get down to right here. Okay, so this layout, I'm only really keeping a couple and I am going to be the odd man out because most people use like Monad Tall or something like that or BSP. BSP. Um, I am going to use layouts but I'm modifying it significantly. And the reason why, as many of you know, is because I have an ultra wide display. So what happens with this particular um, layout and uh, options is it basically gives me four columns before it starts stacking anything. So if I was to do this, and this is something I might show again on my, on my ultra wide, a really short video, it'll be like 25%, 25%, 25%, and 25%, four columns, uh, be, and it will all be equally sized on my ultra wide before it starts to stack anything, which is what I want. And maybe three is might, might have been better, but I kind of like four on ultra wide. So basically, I'm changing um, the border focus and the width as well. But this num columns thing is what I really like for ultra wide. Um, I'm using hack nerd font regular, um, and then uh, I'm just trying to figure out things that I changed a great deal of. I did make some changes here. Maybe the best way, but I do want to like like I said, maybe the best way is to go ahead and make this live so that you can see uh, the changes. But I do wanna just show you, this is, what we, this is where we are, okay? This is where we are and this is where we're going. So let me go ahead and 
Um, I'm gonna close this. And do I have anything open on three? I do. Um, let me go ahead and go over here and let's go to conf uh, actually we could have just done that oh, all right I'm already here so Q tile and then so I want to let's move this config py to a uh, backup or let's we'll call it original because that's really what it is uh, oh <laughs> maybe I need to do the right command right okay dot orage there we go and now let's move jgl to config.py there py and i'm going to hit um, super shift r or is it control shift r there we go control shift r sorry now again this is going to be super super simple okay in fact i think i'll just stay on this particular page to demonstrate so I'm just using gray type, you know, and then I'm using some color here. This is all I would need as far as uh, ricing. And I even hesitate to say that this is ricing. Um, so what I want to do is go into config.py. Um, let me change something real quick. I, I really like micro. As most of you know, I, I use micro over Vim because I just think it's easier for me. But when I am looking at this color scheme, I want to change it almost, almost immediately. So I'm gonna go set color scheme. And this is the default color scheme right now. And I kind of like the one that's just simple, okay? So it's called simple and I change it, okay? And it's got a little transparency as well. So here we go. Okay. So like I said, I already ch showed you the color scheme. And I showed you, let me go ahead and open up a couple things. That way you'll see. All right. Um, so changing focus. All right. Right and left will work. Right and left keys. Okay. Moving is shift. Okay. Shift left and right. Okay. And then as far as um, resizing, we've got control. We use all the Vim keys, plus we're going to use uh, the directional keys. So it's mod or super control right and left. Okay, so one, two, three, one, two, three. There you go. And let us take a look. At, like I said the columns and as far as uh, highlighting and stuff like that this current screen border is dark yellow so like right here it's underlined you can see that these hopefully on YouTube you can see that these two uh, the two and the three workspaces are bright so that there's they're active except they're I mean they're not really active but they have stuff on them okay and then I've put in this the widgets, uh, one for Debian, um, and it checks for updates. This CPU thing. Remember, we installed a PSUtil, and so you need PSUtil if you want to use CPU and memory. So if you didn't do that, you would need to do this an installation of PSUtil. Um, the clock is in two different colors. I mean, the date and the clock are separated here. And then the volumes, so we don't, you know, we can go up and down or click on it and it, it mutes as well. And then we've got the sys tray, which right now is showing up just the, um, the uh, NM applet. Okay. Now, now I don't, use um, scratch pads and I might want to try to use them more often but I do like uh, certain floating uh, applications so like this calculator actually this is wrong isn't it this should be uh, calculate sure there we go um, so if I like open up calculator which 
it, it actually shows up in a um, floating window. So, you know, that way it doesn't take up a, you know, a portion, a portion of the screen. It's just going to float, which is what I like for certain things. And I don't, I didn't really add a whole lot. It just over, um, added two. One is QMIGV for image viewing and then this, this calculator. Okay. And then, and that's it. I, I, like I said, this is simple, super simple, you know, colors and, and a few bling things and that's it. So, um, I am gonna, I, I did, like I said before, I did take a lot of the, um, a lot of care with the um, um, key bindings and made sure that I didn't have any overlap with uh, SXHKD. Okay, so if I, like right now, for example, Super B is Firefox. Uh, I've got this Super X, Super X for, um, for logging out or shutting down or what have you. And then I've got a few other things that I like to use. Um, and so basically that's, that's very it, very much it. I, I, I would like to say that this is like hard and I need to like try and, and help you. Uh, okay. So here's something if you want, um, I use the numbers like up here for each workspace. If you want to use like, uh, awesome fonts, you know, it, they're there. I just, and you just comment out this and, and then, uh, uncomment this line and you would have that and you can change these to what you want. I, I don't mind having just the numbers. I think that's fine. Um, but anyways, like I said, if you are uh, like me and you just want something simple, I, I prefer it to be simple. So this is a, this is about as simple as it gets, to be honest with you. Okay. Um, let me check my time real quick. So I'm about 17 or 18 minutes in, and that's probably good enough for right now. I will let you know that the um, I will update my um, my GitHub dot files to rep and put my current configuration for Qtile and whatever else I need to in that dot config directory, um, and. I would like to, I think, do a couple things, but I think this is where I should stop for right now. So regardless, thank you for joining and I will see you soon.